Good morning, Science Methods classes. This is quite a dilemma that we're in, it seems. And I know that you have a lot of questions, some concerns, and I don't have all the answers, but I know there are a number of people at Austin P that are working to uh, provide answers when you have them and try to support you in any way that we can. Uh, we're going to make the best of this for the rest of the semester, and that's difficult when the whole goal of my class is to have engaged inquiry-based science lessons. So I hope to provide some demonstrations uh, via video. Uh, I hope to hold class um, via Zoom, or at least part of the time uh, will be on Zoom, uh, so that I can answer questions and help guide you through at least the key assessment uh, portion of the class. And I want you to try to put your fears and concerns aside as much as possible uh, because we do intend to work with you and we understand that everybody is in this uh, very unusual situation together. We're trying to make the best of it. The Earth Science Methods class, Science 5050, uh, will meet on Monday nights as scheduled at 4.30 and uh, we'll do this by Zoom. I will send out a link you don't have to have the Zoom application necessarily. It helps sometimes, but you don't necessarily have to have that. Uh, I'll send a link, and as long as you're on the internet, you can join in. I know that some of you may have some difficulty at times with reliable broadband internet. Just let me know. There's also a phone-in option. And uh, again, this is to support you um, as you have questions and as we try to move through this course. So. One thing that we can do um, in a positive sense is to think about the, the time and the air that we're in in this pandemic, which does occur occasionally, uh, not to the scale that we seem to be seeing right now uh, in a very long time, 100 years or so, but we do have these events that occur. And as you all know from social media, from your contacts that you have, uh, there's been some panic, there's been some irrational behavior from toilet paper hoarding to buying up hand sanitizer, uh, which by the way, is not nearly as good as properly washing your hands with just Mar soap. But there are some rational uh, decisions that could be made to prevent some of the, the, the panic that we've seen in our society. I want you to understand that this is precisely why K through five and K through 12 science is so important. We need a more scientifically literate society that can look at the data as it's coming in, and it's been changing on this issue, but to look at the data and to try to parse out what's totally irrational, what totally is non-scientific, and what does seem to make some sense and what can make the situation better. If we don't have a scientific, scientifically literate society, these are the times when society as a whole can make some poor decisions that hurt us all. So uh, I, I want us to think about the, t the, some, the time period that we're in right now as an example of why what you're doing as K through 12, K through five, K through 12 um, science educators is so important. I want to strongly encourage you to check your emails regularly, daily, uh, and also check D2L daily, regularly. Uh, because your assignments um, will all be turned in digitally through D2L. Um, I'm hoping I have all of the, the bells and whistles working on D2L. As you know, it can be glitchy at times. Uh, sometimes I just make a mistake. I don't click the right button to open up a particular assignment. So I'm asking that you're patient, that you're understanding. Um, as your instructor, like the teachers that you worked with, we've been asked to totally shift an instructional methodology that has worked pretty well to a very different format in a very short period of time. And so just like the K-12, K-5 teachers that are out there having to make some considerable adjustments, uh, sometimes without the resources necessary uh, in a very short period of time, um, you know, we're in a trial period here, so we want to be patient with each other, uh, but 
hopefully we can work through the essentials of this this course the rest of the semester using D2L, using Zoom, using some other applications. Uh, I'll try to provide some demonstration videos uh, as soon as I can. I just want to mention to you that uh, my wife and I are currently self-isolated at home. Uh, we have a, a family member um, that we visited last weekend who has been in contact with someone who tested positive. We're waiting for some other test results. So I can't get to the Austin P STEM lab to actually record those videos in the lab until I'm sure that uh, I'm not going to infect someone else. Uh, that would be the last thing that I would want to do. So um, we're, we're going to do what we can. Again, patience, understanding, and just stay calm and breathe. Uh, we, we do hope to get through this together in the best way possible. Thank you.